It's difficult. It puts life in a new perspective. My name is Amy McDowell and I'm a breast cancer survivor. So I was eight months pregnant, believe it or not, with my second child. And uh, I was very active throughout my pregnancy and I felt a lump while exercising one day. Um, thank God my doctor took me seriously. Uh, thank God I was 36 weeks pregnant and I could go in two days later and explain to my doctor what had happened. Um, doctor took me seriously, referred me out to a radiologist. The radiologist said, I'm sure it's nothing, you're 32, you don't have any family history, I'm sure you're fine. No, th don't they understand I'm having a baby in four weeks? I got a lot going on right now. I can't have cancer, I don't have time for cancer right now. I've got a four-year-old son and one on the way and, and soon and by the way, like, how are we all? How are we going to do this? The baby's going to come, and, and what's 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 going on here? What do I have to do? Um, so I did. I called my radiologist and I said, "What do I do? You tell me. I'm eight months pregnant. I I can't make any decisions right now." Uh, I had the baby two weeks early. They induced me. Uh, happy, healthy baby, thank goodness. Um, 11 days after I had the baby, I had a double mastectomy. And three weeks after that, I started the first of five rounds of chemo. Uh, that was in August of 2009. Uh, I did chemo every three weeks, and I was done in January of 2010, and had a gigantic party when I was done with that. Even though I was told from the beginning that the chances were very good that I would, you know, live life to to the fullest. I think when you hear the words, you have cancer, that's not what you think. That's not what you truly believe in your heart. And sometimes I still don't believe that. I mean, three years later, sometimes I believe I'm going to be 85, and sometimes I don't believe I'm going to see 37. weeks that go by that I, I forget that it ever happened or I look at pictures and say, did I really have to shave my head because I was going to do chemo? Did I really have to do all that reconstruction? Did that really happen to me? Having Komen um, as the backbone for this whole network of women that can come together and support each other and say to each other, you'll be okay someday. You'll, you'll make it through and you'll be stronger and we're here because we've been there. We know what you're going through and, and we know we can make it through together.